Okay, I am excited tonight. I have a tripod, so hi, welcome. I'm Amy, I am behind this brand new Amy Runs on Coffee channel, and today I wanted to show you my layout for the coming week in the Budget Mom Live Rich Planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up. I hope you can see what I'm showing because I can't see what I'm showing you. First we come across the layout, I showed this in the last video. I have outlined our reading for the month so far. I do need to add uh, my new Audible audiobook on here. I don't know about you, but I love Audible. It's how I get a lot of my reading done these days, especially when I'm walking or running. And I don't use these monthly layouts super extensively, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next week in my layouts. Go over quickly what worked for me this week. Like many of you guys, I had developed a great probably eating plan and it just didn't work and I was not good at tracking my habits this month, this week. Um, this week was a really big week in our house. We had a three-year-old birthday, a nine-year-old birthday, we had New Year's, um, just lots of things going on. So I did come back and finish my week wins. I had been noticing on uh, Happy Scale that my weight had been creeping up and I stopped that this weekend and got it going trending in the right direction. So hopefully tomorrow is a good number. Then this is the rest of the week. I did really well with staying on track with my workouts. Planning them out actually really helped me. And also my reading. I had never really thought about planning my reading until I saw another planner YouTuber, I think the Organized Money, I believe, show her reading planners. And I thought, man, maybe I should try that and see if that's the missing piece that get me through the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge this year. Uh, otherwise, this all went really well, and then the weekend kind of went by. It was a little crazy, and I am even noticing this week. It's hard for me starting this week, this weekend, to plan all the way to the next weekend. Five kids at home, a husband who's got a busy schedule. Uh, it just feels like planning that far ahead is a little scary, so I'll show you what I did next week. Uh, planning out my food, that's easy. Uh, sticking to it is harder, <laughs> I won't lie. And then the 10th is my birthday, so I don't know what we're gonna do yet for that. Uh, this is actually gonna be leftovers. I can go ahead and write that in. This is what I'm talking about on the video. I didn't show you when I did my flip through, but this, um, this coil is just big. And so I love having the full space to write in, but the downside of that is I have to do that to write. Uh, and then I did go ahead and do my habit trackers. Let's see if I can stick on to that better this week. Uh, vitamins, running, stretching, reading, cleaning, something. Uh, an annual journal, I got an annual journal from Plum Paper for Christmas and I'll do a walkthrough of my Plum Paper stack and post that this week. And weighing my daily, my daily weigh-in, I use the Happy Scale app for that. And a declutter post, I'm running a small group of friends group to help everybody just kind of declutter after the holidays. And so I wanna make sure that I post and keep up with that challenge to help, as I said, five kids, things accumulate so fast. Um, try staying on track, uh, we homeschool, so getting our, our week off well to start the second half of our school year. This is a, a declutter like a mother challenge that's run by uh, Ali Casaza. I'm checking that out again this year. And it's my first year actually doing that challenge with her, I did some courses of hers a couple years ago, but I saw this challenge running, so we'll give that a try. Kind of just basic maintenance of activities, cleaning, keeping the house cleaned. Um, Girl Scout to do is we're getting ready for our Powder Puff Derby for Girl Scouts, and then working on my Shutterfly book. I would love to get that ordered pretty early in the year, even though 2020 was kind of a weird year. Okay, what did I do this week? So for this week, I went ahead and I liked having the washi tape to mark off those early mornings, because hopefully I'm not up at that point. I planned out my workouts again since that worked well for me. I planned out my reading and I left some room for some notes or to-dos that don't fall through here. Um, so that's kind of how I'm using this space here. I did find some stickers in this Chrissy and Designs book. This is probably so old, I don't even know where I got it. Uh, but I found in the back, she's got these little trackers. So I might try using those next week across there to see how I like that instead of having to write the little boxes. Um, Oliver is my five-year-old. I do school with him first as my bigger kids are getting up and getting themselves started. So that's kind of where we start our school day. This is the first planner for this year that I have had that as an hourly layout. And what I want to do this week is track what happens. So I have a better 
feeling of how our days normally flow with the cores that I'm doing with my children. We're doing sunlight, and so I have two in core G this year, and then two, in, one in another core, and so I just want to keep track of what we do for our day, and then use that to build out my next week and make improvements on what worked and what didn't. Um, the pink highlighter, I am using some mild liners, so I use the pink one because it stands out and it's not my favorite color, but these are the times that we need to be out of the house or I need to be out of the house. Somebody needs to be out of the house. The blue I used for my oldest, he does dog walking at lunchtime <clears throat> and he's very good about remembering, but I do like to have just a reminder for myself too in case something happens. Now, the one thing I did not do this week and I debated whether to do this is to actually plan out my workouts where in the day it's going to fall. I'm pretty good at finding the bits of time to make sure that these happen. And I think that I will try again this week to do them mostly in the evenings um, because the Girl Scout meeting that I usually have on Tuesday nights is canceled because we have an earlier meeting on Wednesday for our whole service unit. So I think that will allow me the flexibility to kind of keep those workouts in the evening this week. And because I'm doing schoolwork during the daytime chunk from pretty much eight to four, just ebbing and flowing. We're not sitting at a school desk or anything that whole time, but I think that's gonna be what works for me. So if you've tried something like this before, let me know how it worked for you. Uh, does it, I don't usually do this kind. I, I usually like to have things laid out, planned ahead, and know when I'm doing what, but I'm finding it hard to commit to that with a three-year-old, a five-year-old, nine-year-old, and then 12 and 14-year-olds at home plus myself. It's just a lot to try to manage. So I'm going to not stress out about the white space. This is functional planning. I don't decorate. I don't do a bunch of sticky stuff. Um, doodles, those are not my thing. I love watching the videos, the people that do them, but they're not my thing. And so I'm not going to stress about that. I'm going to let it be white. And I'm going to record what we do during the day, maybe in blue, so I can tell what I wrote versus what I had planned. That's probably a good idea. And then our Saturdays, I'm really hoping that we get a chance to get away this weekend. We do live in South Korea where our restrictions are in place, but we do have some opportunity to get away and I kind of would like to do that for my birthday. So, cause it's just not the birthday that any, anyone would have had planned over the last year. And then yeah, totally blank in the weeks ahead. So that's what I'm doing. Not fancy, um, not complicated and Fingers crossed that it works. I will give you an update next week and let you know how it did go. If there are any tips or suggestions you have for um, kind of looking at what I'm trying to do this week and maybe something that has worked for you in the past or something that hasn't, especially if you're a homeschooling mom of a lot of kids, um, I would love to hear it in the comments. But thank you for checking this out with me. Oh, I do remember one thing I wanted to show you real quick because I said in the walkthrough video I would show you and I forgot. This planner comes with these little stickers. And so, there, now you've seen the stickers. Don't you feel better? <laughs> um, I used, okay, so I used those, and then I haven't used any others. Like I said, I'm not a super decorative sticker person, but um, with all this white space, I like being able to write. Oh, that's the other thing I am finding. I need to, there's no um, bookmark. So, I don't like to leave it open. I don't want the pages to tear out so I'll just grab myself a big binder clip and use that to hold these pages together so I think that's it thanks for joining me next video I'm going to post is going to be a plum planner stack I will show kids planners I will show the year uh, the five-year planner uh, which is actually pretty funny and then um, I think it's a uh, the morning afternoon vertical priorities planner i believe is the one that i ordered so thank you guys very much i appreciate you tuning in and i'll be back next week